If you want Cal to go up, let us know. I sound like a voice. That actually yeah, sounds like a voice to yeah. me. Tonight, we are going back to a care home we visited last month, but this time we are taking Paul from Ghosts on Trent to investigate with us. The care home has a history of sad deaths, including two elderly gentlemen who died from choking, with the situation being that bad, the care home had to shut down in 2019. In our last visit, we heard a voice coming from upstairs and the sound of footsteps right beside us, and we knew we had to come back for a second investigation. With that being said, remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and come with us. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now tonight we've got a special guest with us who we've wanted to do a well, paranormal investigation with for such a long time. Um, he's right behind me, Paul. Oh hey guys. <laughs> it's Ghost on Trent guys. So um, if you haven't seen any of their videos, go and check them out. They're one of the best teams on um, YouTube and they're genuine just like us. So go and check them out. Um, and before we say anything else, on our last video of the Chirk, uh, mill, uh, what was it, Chirk Mill, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. We had a girl with us called Jazz. Now, she um, has got a new YouTube channel, and sadly, she had an operation last week, which she's out of action now for probably about a month. So, if you can, guys, I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description Afterlife and Spooky Events. Can you go over there, please, and give her a thumbs up on all her videos if you can? And most of all, I subscribe because um, she does a paranormal. And like I said, she just had like a major operation. So it'd be nice if you lot can go over there. But with that being said, um, let's go and see what this um, care room's got to offer. Right, me and Nathan are on the bottom floor, just outside the um, cellar area. Paul and Lucy has gone upstairs and we can't hear. Can you hear a thing, can we? No. <clears throat> So if there's anyone here now in this care home, we've come back to try and communicate again with you. You've done bits for us last time, not much, but we've come back again to try and talk to you. So I'm actually red. I have to be careful what I say because I don't obviously this place going in the wrong hands of people, but a couple of men in this care home um, actually died on choking on something that they wasn't meant to have. Are you one of them gentlemen? Then if I heard something near. Are you one of them gentlemen? Then if I heard something near. I heard something moving there then. Is that one of the gentlemen communicating with us? Fuck! That was rain, I think. Was it? I think, yeah. One just loud one like that. The other one there. Was that you making a band then? There is a breeze coming down here now. What is that? <sighs> so are we finally communicating with someone? Make yourself known to us, please. See, that was water. That was water then, yeah. That was a big... It was a big... Big bang, bang yeah. See, there's water again. So, I mentioned a gentleman that sadly passed away because he basically ate something that he shouldn't have and it caused him to die unfortunately is any of them gentlemen here tonight
That's a <laughs> that's a flight that was. We're using devices tonight. Me and Nathan down here. That in our hands, if you walk in front of them, we'll we possibly might be able to see you. And you can also walk in front of them or make a noise and we'll be able to hear you. Are you able to do anything like that for us? That's um, water on it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's outside. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Plane. Plane or a bike, isn't it? Plane. Yeah, it is, it is outside. Can you walk towards us, please? Can we hear your footsteps? Well, let us know where you are on this ground floor. We've been here before. So you know that we are friendly, not here to trash the place. Again. There's not a single bit of wind outside. There's a clear sky tonight. It's very yeah. cold. The way we've come in, we've boarded back up, so no one else can get back in. Yeah. I haven't felt the breeze yet where I am. Is anyone here with us tonight then? Male or female? Let me just close the door again. It's a bang again. Do you reckon that is water? <sighs> it's once in a blue moon, isn't it? And mm. is when you've asked that again. That was water, see? Yeah, that's close to me. That bang is more out there. Yeah. It sounds like it's hitting something like a wet floor or something, but. Yeah. Did you hear something then? Don't move them out there again. Yeah. Aren't you here talking? Yeah, I can. Yeah, let's have a look. Hello? Do you know what it sounded like? Like... Faint walking? Yeah, like um... So faint. Like, almost like an old person, the way they shuffle yeah, yeah. with their walker, yeah. It's so difficult, because you hear it while you're here. Yeah. No matter how good your mic is, it doesn't always pick it up, which no. really annoys, because you just want like the viewers to hear it. The good thing is we've got this camera there, so that should pick it up.
Could you show yourself to us? This is such a big building. And I'm guessing that there was many, many residents here. We're here tonight in search for the paranormal. Myself and Lucy and Carl and Nathan downstairs. We travel all over the country in search for ghosts, spirits, astral beings to find evidence of them as I said earlier we don't mean you any harm and we're not here to disrespect you and we were wondering if you could make a noise for us please just to let us know that you're here Permission lock in tonight. Could be range up to yeah, you guys. That's the it's been non-stop range since we lose the camera. Yeah. We're in fair with you. What was that? That was my day, I think. Yeah. My name is Nathan. And my name's Carl. We just really, really, really would like to talk to you. What is the best way to talk to you, to communicate with you? Is it through tapping on the wall or a door? Or can you talk to us? Or could you move something? Be careful because blue seems <coughs> upstairs, isn't he? Right, we can hear them. Yeah. So, should we go back the other way? Yeah. We're going back by the cellar now. Come and join us by the cellar area. Fuck, that was a knocky, wasn't it? Yeah. That, I, I just, just realised now how far away we are from the entrance where, where we come through that door. We go further on again. Yeah. How is that breeze 
it's not it's not coming through. This whole building is sealed apart from one place to open, it's just down there. Yeah. But the breeze was coming, then stopping, then yeah. coming again. I'm hearing all I never hear things, but I'm hearing all sorts tonight. I'll try not to knock it. <laughs> Don't lot. No promises, though. See, someone else has been here because they've been. I find it a bit odd that some of the numbers have been removed from the doors. Oh. And I don't know why, it's really odd. Oh, yeah, because this was supposed to be number 13, I'm guessing. But one's gone. I know, it's weird. Why would you remove half the numbers? Confidential, I don't know. That one's not been removed. Shall we try sitting on his own in the room? You could do. I'll go in this one here if you want to go in that one. Here. Yeah, the beds and everything are still in here. Right. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to sit on your bed. If I can. You'll have to let me know if you want me to move. Was this your room? You have to come and tell me your name. They looked after you here. I really do. I hope you had a nice time and they made you nice food. So quiet, but there's still the light. The noise of like walking around. Shall I make you a nice cup of tea or Horlicks? Bang that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Probably still a lot of water. What was that? That's a tick in there again. Are you in that room? Hmm. Don't just stop, it? No. No, was down there. Fuck, what's that noise? Hmm. Don't just talk on it. No, that was down there. Fuck with some noise. Hmm. Don't just talk on it. No, that was down there. Fuck with some noise. Would you like us to go in that room and point to that? Or to go down the corridor? That noise what went to do in your stomach. No. See, this is the thing, right? Is do we stay here because things are happening, or do we go into the room? 
Do you want us to go into that room and point out now? That room there. Or would you prefer us to stay where we are so you can stay in that room? If you want us to stay where we are, do another noise in that room. I put my camera away. What was that? I don't know, I didn't hear that. I heard a whoosh like a whoosh, and I went bang. We're getting a lot more tonight than. Mm. And it's not them guys, they're the other side. Oh yeah, they're miles away. Them. Well, obviously not miles away, but... Yeah. <clears throat> no, I think... Um, Start on the bed, so I think it might have been the bed making noises. Okay. But I can hear, like, still hear, like, walking. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. like distant talking. It's just. Is the phone still on? Yeah. Right. So we just joined back together, and we're going to do the phone experiment. Um, so basically, Nathan's got a phone here with a microphone next to it. There, and also, is it just the floor above? Is it Carl? Um, just above. Yeah, it's just it, it's a little bit. It's up, and it's like a bit more over there. Right. I think we're like in the side, and that's right in the middle of the yeah at the top, basically. So we've got another phone just on the top floor, and um, we're going to listen to see if we get anything We did, through the last time we done it, we did hear, we did hear a voice, didn't we? Yeah. So yeah. We, well, we couldn't, we couldn't make out what it was. Yeah. Right. It was quite creepy, but we couldn't make out what it was. But it was definitely a voice, wasn't it? Who was talking? I think it was Nathan at the time, wasn't it? Go on then. Oh, I don't pressure anything now, look. Go on. Three hours on me. You got me on the spot now. Yeah, cut, I'll say so. <laughs> no, no shouting. So, we'll call out to anyone that's on the top floor. Can you talk to us with the mobile phone that was on the table? Did you hear something then? Yeah. Straight away. Thank you, if that was you. Can you tell us your name, please? Was it you who was communicating last time through the phone? Yeah, did you hear that? The, phone, you know. the phone's not near the drip, is it? The loud drip. No, that no the loud drip's down, down here. here. It's down here, isn't it? Yeah. Because I heard it when we were coming down. Yeah. Right? There's no, I, I haven't There's heard no a drip, drip upstairs. upstairs. That's strange. So, my name is Nathan. Could you tell me your name, please? That's not a drip, is I'm it? I'm not going to say anything now and see if that happens again. Make that noise again. Because that's where we've set up. 
all our equipment, and that's where we've all been doing yeah. something, but... Just wasn't quite sure what it was. Can't pinpoint what it is. Who is upstairs? If there was a drip, it would be constant, constant. constant on a time. And that drip yeah. built up to drop. Yeah. That was something again. Uh, so the time frame between the first one, the second one, and then that one. Is that the only noise you can make? Weird, isn't it? Is the gentleman here, or any of the gentlemen, that lost their lives due to choking? What was that? God, did you hear that? Was that through the phone? That's yeah, phone. that's on the phone. That was like a breath. It sounded like a cough. So are we talking to one of the gentlemen who lost their life, lives in this care home? Are you happy you're still here? It seems to be a bit of a, the same noise. It is the same over and over and over again. Do your, you, cam your camera's up there as well, isn't it, Carl? Yeah, and the voice recorder. Can someone tell me, is it one of the gentlemen who lost their lives choking? They swallowed something plastic. Is that you trying to communicate with us? Do you want to be left alone? Fucking, what was that? Is that the battery? Yeah. <laughs> Shit was off. As soon as I said that, it did it again. Again, yeah. yeah. It's it's been quite again. Tell you what we could do. You, go on, get up yeah, there. Yeah, so, well, we need both. Do you want to use it on your camera and mine? Yeah, definitely. Do you want someone to come upstairs with you? Uh, did you want someone to come upstairs? Do you want to stay down here? If you want Carl to go up, let us know. That sounds like a voice. That actually yeah, sounds like a voice to yeah. me. Yeah. The thing so is, strange, is, the thing is, one of our cameras and Paul's need to go up, obviously yeah. for both channels. Do you want to stay down here and me and Paul pop up? And then if you hear anything, just shout through a knife. And then if it's if it is dripping, yeah, we'll know. Yeah. Should we go up, up Paul? Yeah. And then you carry on yeah. filming in here. Okay. So if you if, if you hear that noise, yeah, let us know and then we'll um, we'll shout back on the camera. I'd walk upstairs and I'd like break in the necks. <laughs> it's it's weird, doesn't it? It is strange. Really strange. I mean it's a great experiment. Yeah it is. Yeah. Just be careful, yeah, cool. Yeah. You heard it again? Bear with me. I'll shout through it when we're there. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's closed. Mm. Fuck you know. Right, 
Så lad os da folk er bare sådan på. Right, so we're, we're here now, Nate. Yeah. Let us know if you hear it now, then. We'll, we'll be dead quiet. Let us know if you hear it. Did you hear it then? Is that the Zachary say noise? Did you hear it then? Right, hang on, bear with us then. Let, I'll tell you a couple of seconds after it happens, because it might be dripping. So that we'll, we'll hear a drip up here, and then we'll say if it, if it is it. There. Bear with us, right, we'll just be quiet for a minute, and then we'll tell you when it drips. There. Was that the same noise? Yeah. It's a drip in there. Is this room seven? Yeah. yeah. Right. Hang on, hang on. I heard a voice there. And you wouldn't have heard it on your camera. No way. Hang on. The... Nathan? Ah, oh, that's why it was you, wasn't it? It's fucking Nathan upstairs. Is he right above? <laughs> I thought they were over the other huh? side. Are you upstairs now? Ah, you fucking bother us. <laughs> Fire the fuck. <laughs> right, so we, <clears throat> myself and Carl have just come back downstairs. Um, Nathan and Lucy are upstairs, just wandering around upstairs. We've set some equipment up and a static cam. We've got the REM pod just in the corridor there with the static cam. Um, we're just going to have a little call out, see if we can get any interaction with the equipment or any knocks, bangs, voice, voices, anything like that. And uh, take it from there. It has been really quiet though tonight, hasn't it, mate? It has. It has, yeah. We haven't uh, had anything at all, really. If there's any bond, oh fucking hell, any bond, <laughs> any bond, it's <laughs> that time of night. It right? is. <laughs> yeah, what time is it? It's 10 to 1, so. 10 to 1, wow. If there's anyone inside this room, can you please make a noise? Is there anyone in the room, in room seven, with Paul? Can you do something in room seven or in the corridor outside here with me? You're welcome to come and touch us if you want to. So you then what? 
of those and I still think yeah. I get. There's a device on the floor in this corridor with a red light on it and an aerial. Are you able to walk next to that aerial and set it off? I know I'm just filming myself, but there's not really much else to um, film. It's just an empty room. Is there anyone here that would like to speak with me? Can you make a noise from where you are so I know where you are? Hello? Thought I heard a whistle again then. So we are going to be leaving very soon. Is there something you can do before we leave? I know you're not a performing monkey, but we just we we're looking for the afterlife, if you like. We, we want to know if there is an afterlife. And if there is, we'd like to have proof. And we're hoping that you could help us find that proof. That's my belly. I need that printed on a t-shirt just for the channel. It was my belly. my stomach. So Carl knows a little bit about the history of this care home. That was my stomach. But we don't want to give too much away to protect this property. But we do know that two males died here. And possibly many more, I could imagine. Would it be possible to give us a sign? Any sign at all? So the history of this building, I think most of it or part of it was for people with dementia. Can someone please tell me if that's true or not? If it's true, there's a few things you could do. You could walk past a device on the floor here, the red device, with the aerial on it. If you walk past that, or there's a, 
just sneaks up above us, I think. I hope. Oh, well, there's a device in room seven on the bed. It's a black box with a green light on it. Can you make the green light go to red, please? If this was a dementia hospital, a care home, sorry. How do you feel, Paul, in, you, in general? Fine. Is it fine, mate? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. I feel. Do you know what I've always said about uh, care homes, though, Carl? I don't know yeah. if you feel the same, but I feel as though they're more active in the daytime. Yeah. Because that's when it would have that's been when a lot it was, yeah. busier. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah, I've, I've always said that. I've always said that this time of night, that they would be asleep. Be asleep, yeah. yeah. The, the only ones that probably be awake is the ones that used to be working. Working, yeah, spot on. Yeah. So, what's your theory at home, guys? Drop it, drop it in the comments, let us know. But yeah, I do think care homes, hospitals, places like that are definitely more active in the daytime. In the day, yeah. So it would it'd probably be interesting to come back in the day to this place. Yeah. Just to see, yeah. Great location, though. It's a great location. What we said to me before when um, we was on a bit of a break that it's often the great locations like this that doesn't have activity. Yeah. It's the like the, the abandoned, least, yeah, the least abandoned little farm accident. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely uh, the least expected. Yeah. Always deliver. We don't know how long we're going to stay here for tonight. And so far, you hardly done anything, if anything at all. Now, we've come a long way to communicate with you. Is there anything you can do for us, anything at all, just to prove that you exist? Do you go somewhere after you pass away, after you die? Do you go to a better place? McDonald's away, is it? Yeah. <laughs> is there someone that's passed away in this care home? Is there anybody that can tell me if there is a heaven? Do you go to heaven when you die? If you do, can you do something for us? Go on, do something amazing. Blow us away. Copy me. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. I can hear Carl a little bit. Don't no want to take Carl at all. No problem for me because we just heard you coming out two minutes ago. To see if there's anything here. Did you go um, the corridor where those stairs are? Yeah, I went right to the end. Yeah, but then halfway up those stairs, isn't there? No, I didn't go there. I didn't go on those stairs, no. There's 
not looking good for a heaven ball, I'm afraid. <laughs> it isn't. Saying that, though, if there is a heaven, and they are in heaven... They're not going to be here with us, surely. They're not here with us, are they? No. Yeah. Is there anyone that hasn't gone to heaven and is stuck in this care home for whatever reason? Are you stuck here because you love the place? Or you might not be stuck here, you might prefer it here. That was Nathan, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. 